All right, everyone, welcome back to Trending Live, your favorite channel for all things tech, DIY, and making life just a little bit cooler. Today, someone dropped off a little gift, a busted LED bulb. Yep, that's the curse of getting an engineering degree. Forget cookies or cool gadgets. People just hand you broken electronics like, oh, you can fix this, right? And if you can't repair it, well, are you even an engineer? This time, it's a Philips UFO bulb that's not totally dead, just dull, like it's got bulb dementia and forgot how to shine. Let's dive in and see if we can bring this dim little UFO back to life. All right, let's introduce our star. This is a Philips UFO bulb. Flip it over, and here's what it's packing. 14 watts, F6500 daylight color, a dazzling 1400 lumens, and it sips power at just 0.053 amps. Power factors over 0.9, and it's rocking 100 lumens per watt. Math checks out, 14 times 100 equals 1400 lumens. Efficient little guy. But here's where it gets weird. I hit up the Philips website to sleuth out more details, and the closest match was a 15 watt UFO LED bulb, 6500K color code. Then I saw these 100 watt and 150 watt monsters with just 1,700 lumens, like 17 lumens per watt. What's the deal, Philips? Is this a typo? Or are they selling us vintage vibes? If you've got the scoop on why the lumens per watt gap is so huge, drop a comment. I'm stumped. Oh, and the site shows Edison type bulbs, but mine's a bayonet. Sneaky move, Philips. I've got a chart linked in the description to decode E27 and other bulb sizes. Trust me, it's a lifesaver when you're matching bulbs to holders. Let's give it a shake, whoa, hear that? Something's rattling around in there. Loose circuit board? Broken part? My curiosity's buzzing. Time to plug it in and see what's up. Okay, it lights up barely. It's so dim, it's like it's half asleep. Too tired to glow properly. Let's crack this UFO open and hunt down the problem. Time to break out the tools. Here's my trusty screwdriver. Always itching to screw something up. Nope, this bulb's playing hard to get. All right, plan B, the ice cube tray trick. Pop, there we go. Look at this 62 SMD LED staring back at me, all numbered, like they're in a tiny LED army. I'm betting the issues with a capacitor or inductor inside. Let's test it again, yep, still dim. No fried LEDs, so the culprit's lurking deeper. Capacitor or inductor, I'm on to you. Let's get technical with the multimeter. Oh, fuck. Gotta set it to DC voltage, 200 V range, since the input to the LED are definitely between 20 and 200 volts. I'm juggling the camera in one hand and two probes in the other. I'm no octopus. Don't worry, I'm not electro boom. No sparks or explosions here. I don't have a GFCI switch, and my MCBs are also more than 6 amps, so there are no short circuits here. Whoa, negative 41.6 volts. Oh, rookie move probes are reversed. There we go, 41.6 volts DC. Let's check AC too, since LEDs can run on that 50 hertz flickers too fast for our eyes to catch. Nope, no AC, just straight up 41.6 volts DC. Time to dissect this UFO. 
I've got a Phillips screwdriver, but I won't bring it here since this video is not sponsored by Phillips. Just three screws piece of cake. I will speed up the footage. No need to skip, I've got you covered. These wires are so short, I can't pull the LED plate out. I could desolder it with my soldering iron and peek inside, but I already know something's busted and I'm out of spare parts. Here's the deal. If this video hits 1000 likes, I'll hunt down some parts and fix it for real. You in? But wait, I've got a secret weapon to see the insides. No, not an x-ray machine. Meet my endoscopic camera. It's a cheap knockoff, but it gets the job done. They say it's waterproof. Sounds like a challenge. If this video gets 500 likes, I'll dunk it in water to test it. It's got a built-in LED light and a brightness knob. Fancy, right? Came with micro USB to USB adapters. And I grabbed a USB C to connect it to my phone. Let's peek inside the bulb. Tricky to figure out which way is up for the camera, but boom, there's the culprit. A loose inductor location, but no inductor. That's why it's dim. I think I have seen that inductor somewhere here. Here it is. Let me get it out. Look at this yellow guy. Only one probe left, the other three are gone. Must have shorted out, but no burn marks. Maybe some alien magic happened in this UFO. Can't fix it without a replacement, but if we hit 1000 likes, I'll raid my junkyard for one. That's a wrap, folks. We've cracked open the UFO, found the issue, and had a blast doing it. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this teardown, and subscribe for more tech adventures.